Speaking frankly, but with respect, uh, the Commission was here, that is fine, and I know that the DG uh, employment, and especially the unit in Luxembourg, is not very big. It has been a uh, reduced workforce uh, over the last years. But I would nevertheless have expected that they are here the whole time to get in discussion with us. This is not a meeting what we do every day. It is sev several years that we only have the possibility running that, and they should be here the whole time. Um, Mr. Andor was uh, very much talking about uh, social dialogue and the subsidiarity principle. Uh, that's fine, but it was, from my point, a bit of an excuse not to be active as the European Commission in launching an, launching an ambitious uh, European strategy. What he has uh, represented here, uh, non-verbal, is defensive. The DG employment is in the defensive, in the uh, core of the European general directorates, the DG employment doesn't play a very important role. And that is not depending on the crisis, it started much earlier. With the last community strategy, there was one chapter I appreciated very much, and that was talking about the necessity to implement health and safety aspects in other EU policies. What we have seen since then is that the DG employment has been colonized by other DGs, by uh, considerations of the DG internal market, economy. We have a uh, globalized uh, competition in economics, and so there is other people directing. Um, against that, uh, I, I have one point, and that is the relation between uh, subsidiarity and EU law. So we need both. And we have at least three social dialogues where we have joint declarations of the employers' federations and the trade unions. And all these three declarations say what we need for the future as a basis for taking our responsibility as social partners and doing, putting things into practice is an ambitious European strategy on health and safety with concrete and ambitious goals, with a time schedule, when to do what, and also with specific funding. I would uh, very much have uh, liked to raise the question about the funding. Uh, today we can see that the Bilbao Agency is doing a lot of good things, but is underfunded. So they can only provide uh, promoting activities, but uh, no money for a lot of activities which would have, uh, which where it would be good to have uh, some funding. So therefore, uh, my message would be, we can only succeed if we succeed in communication with other subsystems of the European system. So if I consider health and safety as one substance, subsystem, everything depends on the uh, capacity and capability to communicate and to interact with other subsystems. So it is pension schemes, it is uh, research and development, vocational training, but a lot of other areas where we need precise and concrete ideas how to collaborate with their uh, action programs and policies for the next years. I hope it was not too long. Uh, so I'm going now to the next question. Um, the European, you, you also ask that uh, uh, to the Commissioner, uh, the European Commission has often presented the OS legislation as a burden for SMEs. Uh, what is your feeling uh, from the point of view of workers for those companies? Um, it is, uh, it's not a burden. I mean, what we, we take very often a comparison. So if you take traffic, uh, traffic is very complicated in, in cities today. Um, you have uh, different preconditions of all those who take part in traffic, elderly people, people with disabilities and so on. We don't have different regulations. For everyone, red light means red light. But what is needed is specific support to cope with the regulations. And there we are also in, in line, at least with the employers in the construction industry, when we had the first uh, report from the high-level group from the Stoiber Commission dealing, uh, among others, with health and safety, and there with the framework directive and the construction side directive. There were a number of proposals, uh, especially in this direction, to have different levels 
um, of risk assessment and other things for larger and then small and medium-sized enterprises. Um, so, and we are strongly on the position that the problem needs to be solved by specific advice and not by different uh, levels of protection for workers. Thank you, very clear. So I'm going to the last question. Um, what is your experience about unfair competition based on bad working condition? Uh, referring to subcontractors. Uh, 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 is it an important issue for the workers in the building industry? Um, yes, absolutely. I mean, that is one of the, the relations. So forms of employment, uh, and I mean the, the construction industry especially, is a laboratory for forms of employment. We know everything. Uh, we have black labor, we have illegal work, we have uh, gray, gray work, we have interim work, we have uh, fixed term contracts, uh, we have posting, and so on. Most of you will know that the posting of workers directive is especially uh, concerning us, not only, but the sector is, is mostly involved. And we are currently running a campaign against social uh, dumping in, in terms of uh, exploitation of uh, migrant workers, on posted workers, and so on. So uh, one, one, not the only one, but one core aspect of these activities is that we need uh, um, liability in the whole change. So that means that the main contractor in terms of conflict is uh, at the end uh, liable for, for the whole subcontracting chain. That is the only, re the only way to solve uh, problems um, in terms of social dumping. Not paying social insurance, uh, not paying uh, decent wages, deducting much part of the wage for housing and uh, accommodation and those things. So there is a, a lot of problems. So we, we see this as a, as a core aspect and we expect also from the European Commission and from the European Parliament that uh, regarding the enforcement directive, regarding the posting of workers directive. So there, there need to be eliminated a, a lot of weak points or a number of weak points still in the uh, draft report. <laughs>